Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by clicking on the button below because that's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. And today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to be looking at working with AR Foundation. We're going to be doing that in Unity. But before we get going, we need to get our computer set up. We need to get our cell phone set up and also install a couple applications in our Mac OS operating system. So let's jump into my computer and I start looking at some of those requirements. All right, guys, so let me show you what you need to do to get going. So the first thing that you'll need to know is that you'll need to have a developer account in order to download the beta application. So we'll need to get the new version of Mac OS, which I already installed, but I'll show you, I'll show you what that is and also a new version of Xcode and also a new version of iOS, which is version 13 through Apple. You're basically going to go to developer.apple.com, you'll log in, and then that will take you to this portal. Then the next thing that you'll need to do is you'll click on downloads. Once you click on downloads, you have access to the beta software downloads. And in here you can download macOS Catalina, which is the new version that I want you to install so that we can test ARKit version 3. And you're also going to need iOS 13. So this is what's going to go in our phone. And these two are in beta right now, like I was saying in the beginning of this video. So, so for now, just get, you know, get this one going, download it, and install it. it. It's fairly simple. You'll hit download, and it'll basically walk you through the entire, the entire process. It'll restart your computer. Then what it, once you restart, you'll basically go through a, a, basically a walkthrough. Once you're done with that walkthrough, you'll see what I'm seeing right now, which is, you know, I'm running, I'm running that version of the operating system. So the other thing that I, that I needed to do too, is I needed to get iOS 13 beta downloaded. So this one downloads a different file type and, and this one was a little bit tricky because I didn't know that, you know, the operating system changed that much. And by that, I mean, let me show you, let me show you how that works. So. What I did is I went into, you know, I downloaded that package. So what I did is I click on download, restore images. That basically gave me this file right here, which is iPhone 112, iPhone, and basically it's a build number. And the extension is IP, IPSW. And, and this is basically the operating system that you'll need to load to your phone. But the version of Catalina, the Mac OS, changed so much that I wasn't sure how to install it. So what Apple did on this version is there used to be iTunes and in iTunes you used to connect, you know, your phone to iTunes and then do everything there. So what I did is I, I was basically searching for iTunes and, and I couldn't find iTunes. I saw music and I tried to pull music and then I click on, you know, my device. And for some reason I couldn't, you know, it doesn't show you, you know, to do a backup and a restore. So then I started reading an article and it turns out that what Apple did with music, music is basically for music and radio. And then they also have a new application called the Apple TV. And the Apple TV is basically gonna be used for movies. And the last one that you may be thinking about, okay, how do I do my backups? How do I do a, a restore? How do I actually look at my device that is connected, which is, and this happened to be, you know, my iPhone. So what they did is they move the, they move that, those components into the finder, which was very interesting to me because I, I, this was the last place that I would, that I would search for that. So this is where you'll use to do your restore. So basically you'll do, you know, you'll basically do a restore of the iPhone by holding the, I believe it's the option key. So if I, if I hold the option key and then click on the restore, it'll basically give you a browse window. If you just click on it, it's not going to work. So make sure that you hold your option key and then click on it and it'll give you an option to browse. So once you browse, you can select the IPSW file and then that basically is going to put it on your phone, load it into your phone and it'll walk you through the process of installing iOS, iOS version 13 beta version. So once you have that going, you should be ready to go with iOS version 13. You can see that I have it installed. It shows in here under the finder. I also have the version of Mac OS that I show you, which is Catalina. And then the other thing that I, that I also had to do, I had to install this, I had to install that. 
and then you're also going to need to download a new version of Xcode. So what you'll what you'll do is you click on Applications. Once you click on, click on Applications, if you're using Chrome and you have a slower connection like I do, I, I only have a, a 20 megabit uh, connection, so it's really slow and I was getting disconnected. And by the way, I'm going to be changing that. I need something faster, especially with all the things that I've been doing, which are videos. So. But anyway, so so you'll need to download it. And what I did is I used Safari instead, and Safari didn't give, give me many problems. With Chrome, it was getting disconnected, and I was basically getting you know halfway through and then getting disconnected. So make sure that you use Safari to do that. You download it, and then that's the step that I'm on right now. I'm downloading, I downloaded it, and I put it in my desktop, and that's what I was gonna get, I was gonna get installed. So if I double click on that, which is Xcode 11 beta, it should allow me to, you know, to install it. I haven't tried this just yet. So let's see what happens. And now it's expanding. So this is a 7.66 gigabyte file. So it'll probably take some time until it finish expanding. So what I'll do is I'll install it, I'll get it going. But just so you know that those are the components that you'll need before we get going with ARKit version 3 and also get going with AR Foundation. So get that get that installed. Just let me just give you an overview again. So you'll basically log into the developer.apple.com. You'll log in, you'll click on downloads, which will take you to this page. Once you're on this page, you'll basically install macOS Catalina 10.15 beta, or if at the time of, that you're watching this video, this is out of beta, then install that version. Then you'll install iOS 13 using this portal. And you'll basically walk through the process that I just walked you through. And if by the time that you are watching this video, it's already in the store, then you obviously don't need to do this step. You only need to do it through your phone, which is going to walk you through that process. And then once you have those two installed, you go to Applications and then download Xcode 11 beta. Again, if you're watching this video and this is already out, you're going to have to download that from the Apple Store and then you'll be able to search there for, I, for Xcode 11 and then get it installed. If not, download it from here and then make sure that you use Safari to do that. So the last thing that I wanted to show you is I want to go to unity.com and unity3d.com and then let's go ahead and look at the blog because they basically posted a new version of AR Foundation. And, and those are the things that I, that's the reason why I want to do this video series is because Apple released ARKit version 3 and Unity has been working closely with Apple to integrate that into their, you know, their new AR Foundation. It's not now part of the ARKit plugin for Unity, now it's part of the AR Foundation. So if you click on this link, I'm going to put this link in the description of this video so you can read, you know, you can read through the article. It'll walk you through some of the things that were added, such as motion capture. And they also added, like I said at the beginning of this video, people occlusion. You can now track multiple, basically multiple faces in face tracking. You can now do collaborative sessions. And then there's a lot of improvements that I think we're gonna be experimenting with. So I think that's gonna, that's basically everything on this video. And on the next video, I'm going to start getting a project created with Unity. And we're going to be using, you know, of course, we're going to be using our foundation, but I'm going to be creating our own examples. And then you can download those from GitHub, just like you can download everything that I, that I do in YouTube. So that's everything. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you, guys.